I don't know how many people in the room have had the opportunity to meet a Congressional Medal of Honor winner, but we should all be humbled in their presence. The sacrifices that these individuals have made far exceeds anything that most Americans can even fathom. These, as I mentioned before, are the true patriots. And with that, I would like to introduce Mr. Paul Buca, Medal of Honor recipient and former president of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have no delusions as to why I'm here. That's the reason I put the medal on. My men would approve. But more importantly, I met a little uh, Iraq veteran and said, well, where is it? And I said, it's in my pocket. And he said, well, it doesn't belong there, sir. And since he was little by some people's standards, but big by mine, I put it on very quickly. Um, now, I want to I let you know that one reason I am here is that the President of Vietnam Veterans of America, John Rowan, uh, told me to be here. And the other reason is I got a call from Mr. Arnold Fisher that said, I would ask a favor of you, but I'm not sure I'm going to ask you yet. And I said, what is that? He said, POTUS. And I said, who? He said, POTUS. I said, Arnold, who the hell is POTUS? He said, well, it's the President of the United States is coming to the Center for the Intrepid, and he wants me to be there. He said, I'm not sure I'm going. I said, why not? He said, he hasn't done enough for our veterans. And knowing Arnold, as we all do, who gets that finger when he's very serious, I said, why don't you go down there and shake that little finger at him? And maybe you will free up what it is that these veterans are entitled to. He said, I'm out of here. Don't let me down. So it is truly a privilege for me to be here, uh, and I'm humbled to be standing in his shoes. Now, Arnold, and I think it's important for you to know, Arnold, uh, Last, he and Rich Santulli built the Center for the Intrepid at Bamsey, which was to take care of all veterans who had suffered amputations and their families who suffer an adjustment that's almost unheard of. And that center was opened on January 29th of this year, and it is filled today. And a month ago, I was in Washington with him, and he launched his second campaign. That is to build the Intrepid Center for Excellence at Bethesda to treat TBI and PTSD for returning veterans and all veterans. I take issue with some of the statistics that say 30 percent of the veterans suffer some kind of brain injury. I would suggest that everyone does. Just this month, I started my own PTSD counseling. So it's not something that disappears with time. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to say, oh, it's not me. It is something that each and every veteran suffers, usually quietly and totally alone. But it's something that, if not addressed and not treated, impacts those that we love in the most horrendous and negative way. As a veteran of another war, I would also like to tell you, it's absolutely important that you realize that we have never, and I say that again, never seen a war as demanding, as complex, as difficult as the one these young men and women are facing where we send them into that far-off land that they could not have found on a map before we chose to send them. And when they come home, 
It is not enough, as the Budweiser commercial shows, for us to stand up in the airport and clap for 10 seconds, because that's all the ad lasts. And the reason it only lasts 10 seconds is on the 11th second we sit back down and read our newspapers. Those men and women returning to this country are entitled to our love, our respect, our admiration, and the payment of our debt to them and to their loved ones. So tonight, truly it is me that is humbled to be in your presence. I can't imagine what it was like. I do know that 10 men who serve with me have their names carved on a black wall in Washington. And I know that if they were here today, they would give all that they have to stand next to you. I also know that those of us who do not serve now, each and every one of them would gladly take our place as we stand in these tremendous problems we have of traffic jams and subprime mortgages. Oh, would they gladly step into those horrendous problems to have another chance at life. And so tonight, when Paul celebrates, I looked at what you've done here, Paul. It's amazing. But your vigil is all too much alone. It's time that every veteran, every non-veteran, every family, every American citizen who is proud to, when that flag enters the room, stand up with Paul and his vets and say there is no difference between the man and the woman in uniform and the veteran standing here today except one morning that soldier wakes up and does not put the uniform on. If you support the troops, you support the vets. Now, I'm here to introduce a video about a woman, a soldier, a veteran, an American, and an inspiration. Tammy Duckworth, please watch the screen. 